everyone, I'm Amanda Massey and welcome to my YouTube channel, Massey Styles. Today it's about menswear. I'm going to show you how to create three different outfits with one white button down. And then the second part of the video, we're gonna talk about skincare, but we're gonna talk about specifically a brand that is named The Ordinary. The Ordinary is a really great skincare line that has really strong active ingredients at an affordable price. So I'm gonna talk about the products that I use from The Ordinary and how I use them. But first, as always, let's get into what I am wearing today. I really am loving this outfit. These jeans are really comfortable. I'm living for these low rise baggy jeans. I still have my high waisted skinny jeans, but I've like pushed them in the back of the closet. I just feel so much more comfortable in these baggy jeans. These jeans are made by Levi, and I'm wearing Christian Louboutin iridescent heels. They go with everything because they're like, it's like a rainbow in this shoe. It's awesome. So as I said, I'm wearing Levi jeans. They're cool because they're like inside out. So just something new to do with a jean that can be a little bit basic. And then animal print. I mean, it wouldn't be me unless I was wearing an animal print. This is a zebra print corset by Meow. If it wasn't an animal print, probably wouldn't be my style. So had to include a little bit of print in today's outfit. All right, so enough about me, let's get to it. Every closet should have a white button down. It's a classic, it goes with everything. So let me show you three different ways to wear this closet staple. Adding a gray vest or a neutral color vest is a really nice way to add some interest to a white button down. I would leave the vest open. So I'm pairing these two together and then opting for a really nice neutral cream corduroy. These pants are really great. I really like the way that they fit. I love the corduroy with them. And what I like too is when you blend these neutrals together, you get a nice combination. This outfit is very 90s, which I'm into, the 90s are in. So putting together these different neutrals with the button down is a nice way to look very put together without putting in a lot of effort. In terms of shoes, I would want to do a beige shoe with these pants so that you keep your legs looking really long, you're not cutting them off with like an abrupt different color. So I would opt for these beige tennis shoes to go with these beige corduroy pants. The next outfit, again, I'm relying on a vest, but this is a herringbone vest and you would wear it over the white button down and then you would add in a gray jean. These jeans are by John Varvatos. It's just really nice and simple. You don't have to overthink it. And we add in some pattern and you just put a couple things together and you have a really nice put together outfit. For the shoes, these loafers by Paul Smith, they're a chunky heel, which is really on trend right now. And it goes really well with this bold herringbone vest. The last outfit is more dressy. So you would take the white button down and add this John Varvatos plaid blazer and wear it underneath. And these are dress pants, but they're more casual. They're like a jogger. And what's nice is that they're wrinkle free and they have this really nice seaming down the front of the pant. So it's an easy way to elevate a traditional black dress pant. For shoes, I used to keep black and brown very separate, but now I like to combine black with brown. I used to say to my clients, oh, you can put black and blue together, but not black and brown. And now I've kind of changed my mind. So with this outfit, what I would do is wear these dark chocolate brown Chelsea boots. I would keep them a really dark chocolate brown as opposed to a light brown so that it's not too much of a contrast between the colors. This white button down, I just showed you how to wear three different ways. All of these items that I outlined for you are items that really should be included in your closet so that you can increase your closet versatility and create a lot of outfits with not too much inventory. Now let's talk about the skincare product, The Ordinary. The Ordinary product is a product that I really love and I truly use it every single day. What I like most about it is that their ingredients are very pure and very potent, but the price point is so affordable. 
A lot of the times I see other beauty products and it's like $100 for hyaluronic acid. And I feel like that's kind of ridiculous at the end of the day. It's like you're paying for the name and not necessarily the ingredients. And then you look at the ingredients and the first ingredient is water. And you wanna charge me $100, $200 for water. It's ridiculous. So I came across The Ordinary at Sephora and these are the three serums that I use every single morning. At night, I add a lotion, but we'll talk about that product in another episode. So I'm gonna highlight this first product. It is a hyaluronic acid serum with B5 vitamins. This is really great. I put it on my neck and my decollete. I obviously put it on my face every single morning. And what's the secret for a serum is not to rub it into your skin, but to actually pat it onto your skin, wait a few minutes, and then apply your next product. The next product that I use is this Niacin and Zinc Serum. I have very oily skin, I have acne prone skin, my lifestyle is very active, I'm always on my feet, I'm running around, I'm stressed out. So having that zinc in there really helps to fight the oiliness in my skin and also not clog my pores. So the combination of the two is hydration and helping to reduce the oiliness in my skin. Everyone should have an eye serum. Your under eye area is much thinner than the rest of your face. So you need to do an extra oomph of hydration to prevent wrinkles and fine lines. This is a multi-peptide eye serum and I just need a little bit. You don't need a lot. And again, you wanna pat it underneath your eyes and also on your eyelid. Another benefit to a serum as opposed to using a lotion is that a serum, where you put it is where it stays. But with a lotion, as your body temperature heats up, it's gonna start to migrate. So if you have sensitive eyes like I do or light eyes like I do, your lotion that you put on your face is gonna move into your eye and normally cause an eye irritation or eye puffiness, which no one likes puffy eyes. So these are the three products that I use from The Ordinary, Hyaluronic Acid, a Niacin Zinc, and an eye serum. You can purchase these products at Sephora. And that wraps up the beauty section of today's episode. As always, thank you so much for tuning in. I really want to hear your feedback, so make sure that you comment below, and I'll see you next time.